So we have our first sights of the crater of Vesuvio. Absolutely massive. We can see steam coming up in the background. The landscape around the rim looks almost like something from Mars. And Vanessa gazes over into the mouth of death. happening everybody we are back in italy today we are at the town of ercolano which is actually the same place as the famous ruins not pompeii but herculaneum also it's a great place to get a bus to vesuvius which is what we're doing first to climb the behemoth and see an actual volcano up close and personal so we're waiting for the bus we're gonna check out the area and take you along with us grew up in a place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way I had to fight and misbehave. I had to find a way to change. I had to leave to find my way. Got up in a day. And we are here, everybody, at the base of Vesuvius, or Vesuvio, as they say in Italian. <laughs> not very different. It's quite a bit colder up here. It's a beautiful sunny day, not a cloud in sight. So hopefully, the visibility will be great once we start getting closer to the top. But it's at least a good 10, 15 degrees colder. So already, I can tell it's different than any hike we've done because the scenery. It's mountainous, but it has a different feeling to it. All the trees look like they're dead or more of those dry sort of trees. The ground we're walking on is soil. So it's that volcanic soil, which is actually really fertile. Very cool. I think we might be officially right towards the top, guys. A nice little gift shop to maybe get some goods afterwards, but I can't wait to see the cone at its peak. So we have our first sights of the crater of Vesuvio. Absolutely massive. We can see steam coming up in the background. Just to remind us it's a volcano, not just a friendly mountain. So cool, but there's more to see. Let's keep on going. And Vanessa is over into the mouth of death. So it's extremely grand, everybody. I think the opening is either 2,000 feet or 2,000 meters. Based on the look, I would say 2,000 feet, about a half mile wide. And that smoke just adds that extra cool layer. The landscape around the rim looks almost like something from Mars, lots of reds and sort of uh, whites and the green from little shrub, volcanic shrubs growing on it. It's so cool that this soil, like I said, it's very fertile. So a lot of the pizza, the tomato sauces, the lemons, all those really juicy fruits grow from this volcanic soil. It makes it that delicious, really sweet and juicy taste for all of them. And of course, the other cool thing is the views in the background. You can see Ischia very in the distance, which we visited about a week ago. Ischia is the largest island off the Bay of Naples. You should definitely visit and check out my video on things to do. About a week ago, a week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. No, I'm not doing that. Well, hopefully you see some of Sorrento and the Malfi Coast, which we visited less than a week ago as well. And then Capri, which we'll visit very soon. So a nice way to also see a different perspective of these other cool places we've been to thus far in Southern Italy. So wanderers, we've officially made it to the end of the rim of Mount Vesuvio that you can actually walk to. You can go around the whole thing, you can go around about half, I would say. This is so far probably the best view because you can see deep into the crater. Make sure to appreciate it before heading back down. And you can also grab some drinks, maybe a little bite to eat at the top, which is really cool. So I'm getting a little drink here. Also got the views of Vesuvius in the background in the Bay of Naples. It's my first time trying a famous drink of South Italy called Meloncello, which is like limoncello, but made with melon instead of lemons. Who would have thought? Ciao! You have the biggest cheeks ever. And your meow is very pathetic. Is that a bus leaving? 